the stage is set for another enthralling race here in the Kingdom of Bahrain. A Ferrari stronghold in years gone by, but will they be able to add to their record today? There's no shortage of passing opportunities around the 3.36 miles of the Bahrain International Circuit, with the best at Turn 1, of course, and then another soon into Turn 4. 15 corners here, 6 to the left and 9 to the right, and we could see one or two flat spots into the tight left-hander of Turn 10. And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ant, you're no stranger to surviving the melee of Turn 1. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? There are three main things to worry about there, Crofty. Positioning, awareness and discipline. First, you have to put your car in a bit of space and make sure you have room to react to what the others are doing. Then you have to watch your mirrors and listen to the sounds around you to get a sense of where everyone is. And finally, just don't get too greedy. Just because a gap exists doesn't always mean you should go for it. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The fence starts from pole position, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Leclerc, Pierre Gasly, and Ricardo, Sainz, Norris, Stroll, and Daniel Kvyat, Albon, the owner driver, Esteban Ocon, and Russell, Perez, Giovinazzi, Nobuharu Matsushita, and Roman Grosjean, Latifi, Magnussen, De Vries, and Louis Delatraz. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? We came close to scoring points last race. Let's make it happen today. Release. We'll be doing one more stop today. One stop left in our strategy.
Okay, we've lost the position. That's us down the place. this lamp, push hard on the in-lamp. Extra fuel, fuel target, plus one. Box, box, we're adjusting the strategy. Come in this. Exit, exit now. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops.
Excellent. Nice move. We're trailing our teammate by 14.3 seconds. This is 2.2 seconds. of fuel remaining. here, use overtake, use overtake. Seven seconds. All right, race over. Take care of the car on the way in. Another fantastic victory for the Silver Arrows. Tell me, Ant, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament. They were able to keep their heads when everyone around them was losing theirs, and that's allowed them to get the best out of the car, to maximise the strategy, and to stay out of trouble. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today, Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. And after this round of the World Championship, 
Here's how things look in the driver's table. More points for Valtteri Bottas, further solidifying his lead at the top of the table. Some amazing talent out on the track today, but Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? There's a few contenders, but George Russell definitely stood out, I think. A really solid drive from him today, and one I'm sure the fans enjoyed. Let's move on to the constructors. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Meanwhile, a strong weekend from Red Bull this time out, and they improve their position in the championship. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time. Be sure to join us again as we continue to bring you the latest excitement in Formula One.